uh, welcome friends let's continue the form processing from where we left so now you can see the email has been added and this is text field of that so you can see this form is it looks broken so for that we need to include header okay this output is basically not required but for a better practice you should include output header okay so let's refresh and check if something working so now you can see the header has been included and we have created a form with a one field email address okay so now let's add submit button buttons okay so i will add this here it will be added of course on the form page after this okay so let's refresh again so now you can say this is working if you click on cancel this is working okay so the form creating a form part has been done now the form processing is required so the form processing related change will be on this index.php not on form php so after click cancel it up, come here after submit come here if nothing happen this will be by default loaded okay so that is why you are able to see the form with this function form dot display so after click on submit it will come inside this area so let's print our okay so let's check from the form i am adding here my email id three at the red email dot on submit so you can see the submit button comes with this value and email is coming from this coming with this value clear so now we can write your code here insert into database So, if you click on cancel, it should come under each cancel section. You have clicked on cancel. There. So, let's check the behavior. So submit empty value provided for email, and this is coming for now coming back click on cancel you have click on cancel button got it so for this let's create a table to store the email id after every submission okay so now i the table need to be created so the field with the field of id and email and added time okay and added by so this four field will be considered at the time of creating table okay so id will be basically the primary key Okay, thank you. Let's see.